Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to Friendship Shaving. I'm just trying to unstick a Nasset stainless blade from its wrapper. There we are, I've got it. Massive amounts of glue on that. And I'm just going to pop that into a 1950s fat handled tech which was loaned to me quite a while ago by my friend Andre uh, from his homeland, Brazil. And uh, this is the first opportunity I've had to use it, so I'm looking forward to using that tonight. The soap I've got is Barrister and Man Hallows. And um, I want to review a brush tonight. It is the DS Cosmetics. 26mm Captain Synthetic Brush. Now, I've seen a couple of reviews of this brush where the reviewers have used it and splayed it to face leather and I just don't think it's meant to be used in that way. Um, you can see it is a black knot with white tips the tips are very soft and it's got that sort of uh, silver tip badger feel to it, although the knot is not as packed as a silver tip badger hair knot would be, but it nevertheless retains some of that feeling. It's very soft just on the tips and if I hold it up you can see it is a fan shape that way. But this way, it's, you can see it's been cut off at the sides to create that sort of shape on the brush. Um, I've used this a few times now and it works very well in a brushing motion. Um, so I'm going to put that in some water. I don't know if you can see, let me just hold it up and try and catch the light. Maybe there you can see that it's got quite a crimped fibre. Um, anyway, it's got a lovely um, black resin handle. It is 66 millimetres the handle, the loft on the knot is 50 millimetres and I'm going to be bowl leathering with this brush rather than face leathering. Um, I'm looking forward to using the Nasset tonight. I haven't used a Nasset blade for quite a long time and I seem to remember they are a very nice blade. I've got no idea how it will work in this um, fat handle tech. I'm expecting it to be a mild shave. The tech is exactly the same as a 1930s tech, um, except you can just about see. On the head cap there, it has Gillette stamped on it. Now I'm just going to add a drop of water to this bowl. Now, I actually wonder how Barristet and Mann managed to sell any of their soaps, because apparently on reading the information for this soap, their inspiration was the swamps of Boston. Now I wouldn't want to smell like a swamp so if that's their selling point <laughs> well I wouldn't have bought the soap. It says Hallows is a reminder of why men once feared the dark. Well that's a load of rubbish isn't it right there but it is a scent of vetiver oak moss, black pepper, cocoa, labdanum and cedar. Now what I'm getting from it is 
is a little bit of smokiness. Now I don't like smokiness at all in the soap. But there is just a little bit there. Um, it's smelling slightly different now that I am loading my brush and starting to build a lava. It's definitely a little bit woodsy, you can smell the pepperiness in it. I'm getting um, quite a warm scent I feel in this. You know how, how some soaps have a warming scent. I think it's incredibly clever how soap makers do that. I know that um, Wickham's Cashmere is one such soap that I find to be very warming when you put it on. Um, very comforting. I'm getting that kind of that kind of a feeling from this soap. There we are, I think that'll do. I've got plenty there. As you can see. Now I'm just gonna rinse my face again. And we'll get started with a shave. I've got a couple of days worth of growth. My soap is another sample, kindly sent to me by Mark. Another little superb these pots are. You get quite a lot of soap in them and I'm finding that in the bowl I just need such a little amount in the bowl. It's uh, working really well. So I'm finding that this brush works really well like this because of the shape, because of the cutaway shape. Now they could have got the same sort of effect that they were aiming for I feel with having less fibre in the knot and a normal shaped knot but but I think this works quite well. And those tips are really nice and soft. Um, now I think, look, I think, you know, obviously you can face slather, but if you go past those very soft tips, which are about there, then to my mind, I'm just rubbing crimped nylon against my face and I don't find that to be very nice at all. So that's one of the reasons that I just don't think this brush is designed as a face latherer. And I am for actually finding that and I enjoy face lathering, don't get me wrong, I love face lathering. But I'm actually finding that using a bowl and using the brush in this way just still lifts the hairs and exfoliates and dampens the hairs and surrounds them with soap and does all of the things that you want a brush to do. Um, it's through this sort of DS cosmetic brushes that I've kind of uh, changed the way I like to I like to uh, apply soap to my face if you like you can see the brush you know moves and it shapes quite nicely if you use those tips it's beautifully soft I'm really You know, I'll be honest with you, but I always try and be honest. When I first got this brush, I thought, that's a ridiculous brush. <laughs> Whoever thought to shake the brush like that, that was my first thought when it came through. But you know what? I really like this brush.
There we are. Soap saw. We're ready for the tech. Now this is, uh, I think this is the first time I've shaved with a fat handled tech because I wanted one if you remember and I, I got a thin handled tech instead. So uh, this has got a lovely, lovely feel in the hand. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, let's see. You know, I'm straight in, good angle. Wow, check that out. That's that's a mild razor, but it's not as mild as I imagined. That is a very nice razor. I wonder if the 1930s version provides the same shave as the 1950s version. Excuse me, not saying anything there. That was, uh, I was just enjoying that. That's really nice. Lovely feel on this handle. It's definitely not as mild as I imagined. I thought this was going to be. A super, super mild razor, but nice, a fantastic razor. Oh yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely on the lookout for one of these. This is a great razor. got a real nice scent coming off that soap now. It's definitely a very warm scent. I do wonder which of the ingredients or which combination of the ingredients give that slight smokiness to this. Um, As I said, I don't like smokiness in a soap, but th this is quite nice. It's um, almost kind of um, a little bit leathery, or perhaps a little bit tobacco-y. I'm not, I'm not very good on the scents, I must admit, but it's, it's kind of that smell just sitting behind the smokiness and the sort of woodiness. Well, that's a nice razor. That's a nice razor. 
love the handle, they all love it. I think I'll have to get one in rhodium. Why not? It's on the list. Oh, do you know what? That's great. So the nice thing I'm finding about doll lathering, cheers by the way, is that uh, I've just got plenty of soap, 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 I've got plenty of soap, but I've also got plenty of soap just in the bowl and uh, it's great to go back to that. It's funny how in shaving you might find yourselves you know, when I first started out, I couldn't face lather. If my life had depended on it, I couldn't face lather. I just couldn't get the hang of it. I couldn't get the lather right. So I always used to bowl lather, and I got really good at it. And I did think, because you see all of these uh, Shave of the Day pictures, I thought the thing you had to do was get, you know, your shaving brush so it looked like you could stick a chocolate flake in it. It looked like an ice cream with this great thick lather. Um, now I still like my lather quite thick for a safety razor, but I like it thinner for. Uh, for something like the feather non-folding razor or for a straight. But um, gradually I learnt how to, to face lather and uh, I've had a few comments over, over the last couple of years that I've been doing this. I've had a few comments of people saying your lather's too thick. Um, and you know what, they may have been right. They may have been. But now through using these brushes and getting this great bowl, a little bit bigger bowl, I'm discovering that I, I do like to bowl leather. And I do like a thinner leather, particularly on the second pass. On the first pass, I think, perhaps, a nice thick lather provides a good bit of initial cushion. Um, but when it's a little bit thinner on the second pass, perhaps you get a little bit more glide. Oh, I tell you what, can you hear that? This is a very nice razor. Um, I'm really pleased because I've used a lot of razors that I was really looking forward to using and they just turned out to be too mild for me. As much as I enjoyed them and as much as they were good razors They were just a little bit mild and I was really worried that this would be the same and uh, to be honest that's why I've put off using it a little bit. I just wanted to have a little bit of a break from uh, mild razors but this is uh, this is a superb razor.
there are some elements of this soap that remind me a little, just a, ooh, a smidgen, of um, Seville. Although people's impressions of scent really vary. I, I read a review on this and one gentleman said all he could smell was wet clay. So perhaps for that gentleman, they really got it right with their uh, inspiration, the swamps of Boston. It's a strange thing, isn't it? But I know that Barrister and Man pride themselves on thinking outside the box when it comes to their sense. Now I'll tell you what, I know I've had a fantastic shave. That, that is just great. And I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to just rinse this a little bit. Now I've enjoyed this brush. Um, as I said, I must admit when I got it, it was a bit, there's a lot of backbone in this brush and that's another reason why I don't think it's meant to be used as a face latherer because because of the backbone you've got to really press quite hard to get past those longer bristles that are in the middle of the brush and you know when you get into it it's a bit it kind of doesn't splay as easily as you would think there we are that's splayed but it still feels a little bit odd in the middle a little bit uncomfortable because of those longer fibers with the uh, with the extra backbone it's the crimping I think that helps with that backbone and uh, Just to explain, when the fibres are made, they make synthetic fibres by running them through little mandrels, which are like little sieves, if you like, lots of holes in. And uh, as the, the fibres come through like this, strands of fibres, and they go through two cogs that do that. And that's what puts the crimp in the, in the synthetic fibre, apparently. And I'd just like to thank Dan from uh, Vintage Life for that information. You know, he's the gentleman that first informed me that's what happened. And uh, then I looked it up on the internet and read a little bit more about it, of course. Now, I'll put the link in to the brush. Uh, it's for sale on AliExpress. They don't make the 26mm brush anymore. You can only buy the 24mm. But it is in the sale. It is $20. Um, I know that if you're new to AliExpress, you have the option of uh, getting $4 off the, uh, the price. So, you know, you're down to $16 if you're new. So, for $16, I think that's quite good. In fact, I think that's excellent for $16. Even if you didn't like it, you could take the knot out and put another knot in this handle. It um, fits my hand quite nicely, you can see. All the ridges are in quite good places. Nice. I've enjoyed that. So, that is my shave with the captain and this lovely razor. Um, I better put some aftershave balm on, haven't I? Do you know, I've had a fantastic shave. That's a really good razor. So I'm just going to put on, I'm going to put on some Maca Root Razor Relief.
Now I can feel that that is definitely not as mild as I would have thought. I've had a very nice, very close shave. I think that is, oh in fact it's a bit stingy down there on my uh, sensitive spot. So that is my shape for this week. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you liked what you've seen, I'd love you to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Be well, be lucky. All the best now. Bye bye.